Hello and welcome my dear class 11 students. I hoping that everyone is doing well and good. Today in this psychology class we will be taking the first unit that is introduction to psychology. Under this we will be knowing the meaning of psychology or what is psychology, psychology as a discipline and psychology as a natural science and psychology as a social science. Now, when we talk about psychology, like uh, when we say uh, to someone that we are studying psychology or we are a psychologist, people used to say, or the elderly people used to say that psychology puresi to mahala face tikhina janiwala mahan ki kure mahan ki bhavna kure se janiwala. They used to say like that, but it's not um, psychology is not that. Psychology is the scientific study of human behavior and human uh, mind. It is a fascinating area of study. Now, when we say uh, uh, psychology, what is, uh, what does it mean? Psychology means the study of scientific behavior and mental processes. Behavior includes all of our outward or uh, overt actions and reactions, such as um, verbal expression, facial expression, and the movements that we do. And the mental processes refers to all our men, uh, in, all the internal and covert activities, such as our thinking, our feeling, and remembering. It is a scientific study because the psychologist deals with the scientific methods in a systematic manner and they use these scientific methods in order to understand the human behavior accurately and precisely. Now psychology, as is, it is the scientific study of ma uh, mind and behavior, the word psychology is derived from the Greek word psyche. Psyche means soul or mind and, log and logos meaning explanation or study of. So literally, psychology is the uh, study. It means the study of soul or science of soul. Now, when we say psychology, why is it important to uh, study psychology or why psychology is important? It is important because it allows the people to understand who they are or what they are. It looks into uh, why someone act, uh, try to act in that behavior or how someone can improve himself or herself. So, every, uh, so everything a person does is connected to the subject. It is important to study psychology because it allows us to acquire the range of different skills ranging from behavior observed, that is observed, to the uh, physiology of our brain. The aim is to understand the human mind, how the mind works and allows the people to understand more about the body and the mind that works together, of how they act, feel, and think. Psychology is also important for the students to study because it allows the students to understand their own behavior, their emotions and the, uh, the ideas. They also realize that studying the, uh, studying the principle of psychology uh, that, that will allow them to assess themselves, evaluate and improve uh, to solve their unwanted emotional, uh, emotional situation or their unwanted behavior. Now, their, uh, psychology is not about reading minds or to trying to control others, but uh, there is no magic behind the science and psychologists or the professors are not are not there to manipulate the students to get them to do what they want, but psychology focuses on understanding a person's emotions, personality, and mind through scientific studies, experiments, observation, and doing the research. The study of psychology has four main goals, that is describe, explanation, prediction, and control the behavior or to change the behavior of an individual. 
Now, the first goal of describing is to uh, describing things is something we always do every single day. But describing in psychology has a slight different meaning when it comes to psychology. Describing a problem or an issue and behavior is the first goal of psychology. The description helps a psychologist to distinguish what is normal, what is abnormal, what is healthy or what is unhealthy and makes the people to gain more uh, accurate understanding and perspective on human and animal behavior, actions, and thoughts. The next goal of psychology is to explain or explanation, giving the explanation. Once the researchers or the psychologists have described the general laws uh, of behavior, the next step is to explain the behavior. So why, uh, for example, why does this behavior occur or under what circumstances will it occur again? So in order to explain this behavior, a psychologist will uh, try to propose a theory or conduct an experiment which can explain a behavior of a particular person. With the help of these scientific experiments to make sure that they get the same result every time, Psychologists formulate theories to explain the aspect of human behavior and psychology. The third goal of a psychology is to predict or to predict or giving prediction. Now here the psychology aims to be uh, aims to be able to predict future behavior from the findings of empirical research. Now empirical research based on actual experiment or observation. Making predictions about how we behave or how we think is the third goal of this psychology. By looking at past behavior, observed behavior that is describing and explaining the behavior, psychologists now aims to predict how the individual, how that behavior will occur again in the future and whether people might uh, exhibit the same behavior in the future or not. So therefore, prediction gives a psychologist the ability to change or control behavior, which leads to the four goals of psychology. Now, the four uh, goals of psychology is to change or control. Once the psychologist has described, explained, and made prediction about behavior, changing and controlling a behavior can be attempted. Now, psychology aims to change or control the, the influenced behavior to, uh, to make it positive, to make it constructive, meaningful, and uh, lasting changes in people's life, and to influence their behavior for their betterment. This is the final and most important goals of psychology. These four goals are not that different uh, from how you would naturally interact with others. Let's say, for example, someone did uh, something wrong that we're not supposed to do, um, and this have a negative impact on their life. Now, you want to, uh, as a person, you want to try uh, to you want to try to help or resolve these issues. And naturally, the following questions uh, runs in our minds. Uh, for example, what happened? That would be a describing. And why did she do that? That would be explaining. And what would happen if this? Uh, if she did this, this will be predicting. And the next uh, and the fourth questions will be what can she do next to have a dif difficult or different outcome that is changing. Moving on to psychology as a discipline, as we have discussed earlier that psychology is a science because it uses scientific methods to understand the human mind and human behavior. Now, psychology, it is a very old discipline, but um, it is a very old discipline, but a very young science. And the first laboratory of psychology was established in 1879 in Leipzig. But what kinds of science is psychology still remains a matter of debate. 
Actually, uh, the psychology is generally categorized as a social science, but psychology is also offered is also offered in the field of science as um, as well. Uh, psychology as a discipline has two parallel streams, uh, one which make use the method in physical and biological sciences, and the other method which deals with the society, which deals with the social and cultural science. Now let us discuss the two different streams separately, psychology as a natural science. Psychology has defined as a science of behavior because it attempts to understand the role of human behavior that plays uh, in our life. Psychology is a science, is first of all, it is empirical because it uses empirical methods and objective methods to study human behavior systematically, so uh, that is why it is called a natural science. A psychologist, they do experiments which, uh, which others can repeat, verify and obtain quantitative data and emphasize on objectivity. Means the result should not be biased, the result should not be affect, uh, affect the other researchers. So the results should not be affected by researchers or experimenters on experiences. Now psychology, like other uh, uh, subject, uses hypothetical deductive model. So psychology, like other subject, they use this hypothetical deductive model in order, uh, in order to prove the experiment either to be true or false. Now, what is mean by theory? Theory is nothing but a set of statements about a certain complex or phenomenon that can be explained. Now, this model suggests that scientific advancement can take place if uh, the theory, uh, if you have a theory to explain a phenomenon. And based on this theory, a researcher or a scientist proposed a hypothesis. Now, what is hypothesis? Hypothesis means um, a proposed tentative answers or solution to a problem or phenomenon. So the hypothesis then is tested and proved true or false based on empirical data that one has gathered. And if the hypothesis is proved to be true, it is generated, and if it is proved to be false, it has been revised again. So using this approach, hypothetical deductive model, a psychologist develops a uh, develop number of theories like attention, learning, perception, motivation, and emotion, etc. And, and this model has made a significant, significant progress. Now, uh, we will discuss the science, uh, psychology as a social science. Psychology is recognized more as a social science because it studies the behavior of human beings in their social cultural context. Means the psychology studies human behavior in a society, in a culture. Now, we human beings live in a society, so we are social beings. We and in order to understand human behavior, we have to come out from the uh, society. We can't study human behavior in a control setting or in a laboratory. So in order to understand and to study human behavior, the psychologists have to come out from the labs, from the control settings, so that human behavior can be changed and can be studied properly. So that is why psychology is also called and known as social science. Thus, this psychology focuses on the mm, behavior, on the behavioral fact, the phenomenon, uh, which can be explained in terms of interaction that pl takes place between the individual and the communities in reaction to their social, cultural context and physical environment which he or she is a part. So that's all for today. Uh, we will continue the uh, new topics in the next class. Until then, take care and stay safe.